everyone. Um, so I'm here to talk to you guys about Quantum Computing Club at NC State, and we're actually the largest student-led organization uh, about quantum computing in the nation, which is really exciting. We have uh, 150 uh, to 200 students registered with us on Get Involved, and we usually have about 60 to 80 students come to each of our events. And I think that highlights the power of student organizations. We are a large part of the ecosystem for quantum computing at NC State, um, and we started about like a year and a half ago, um, and it was only like two students. And so our purpose is to make technologies that are really niche, like quantum computing, more accessible to students, regardless of your background. I know when I first heard the word quantum, it went over my head, and I was like, that's not something I can ever do. Um, and now I like started this. Um, so we wanted to make sure that students knew that this was an option for them, especially because quantum computing is an emerging field with a lot of uh, jobs that are coming out of it. Um, and NC State's club is definitely a leader in it uh, right now. Um, so we do a lot of different events. Uh, we have speakers. Um, one good thing about the quantum computing community worldwide is that it's very small since it's so niche. So we've had speakers from major corporations like IonQ, IBM, Google, Quantinium, Quantum Machines, and more. And most of the speakers are um, researchers or executives. Um, like we have the head of uh, Quantum at Google come talk to us, which was really exciting. Um, and we also have researchers come and talk from the Triangle area because the Triangle is one of uh, the biggest hubs of quantum computing um, outside of like Silicon Valley and like the University of Maryland area um, on topics like gate fidelity, quantum machine learning, and more, including a lot of professors and PhD students here um, have talked about their research. And uh, we kind of divide our events into beginner students who might not know anything about quantum to advanced students and also intermediate students. So that way everyone has the opportunity to participate in our club's events. We also have workshops. Um, we did a workshop series last semester where we met every single week and you went from not knowing how to program to be, being able to do a quantum computing project. Um, and a lot of those students after that workshop were able uh, to uh, get certified and also got quantum computing internships and took further quantum computing courses at NC State, which was really exciting to see. We had about uh, 60 people attend the workshop every single time with the numbers dwindling around finals week and we had about 30 people get certified, aka okay, they completed the course and did a quiz at the end which was really cool to see as well. Um, and then we also do hackathons. We partnered with IBM um, and we do an annual hackathon called Quack Hacks, which is a play on pack hacks, but with quantum. Um, and we built a game called Coupong, um, which was uh, cool. Um, and these students went, again, from having minimal coding knowledge to being able uh, to program a complicated game like uh, Quantum Pong. Um, and other than that, we also have really cool um, events like conferences. We got to go to ISC 2023, which was in Hamburg, Germany. And we also did a layover in Paris, which was really cool. Um, and there, uh, we were the only undergraduate students in attendance, which was insane as an opportunity for NC State. And we got to network with some of the biggest players in high performance commuting. And they were very impressed with the fact that we were able uh, to even be there physically in person. Um, and that goes to a big thanks to the department for helping support that endeavor um, because it really allowed us to get more opportunities to network with speakers that eventually came to the club and also network with companies who ended up sponsoring the club and our events. Um, and our aim is to take more students to conferences worldwide because even if you're a beginner in quantum computing, being able to attend an academic conference I think changes your worldview when you realize there's more to it than just being in a classroom and hearing about these concepts. There's professionals that get to network um, and these business events happen. Um, and then we also have more fun stuff. Um, we're a part of an uh, international quantum coalition with other student organizations, including Stanford, University of Maryland, Yale, Harvard, and Duke. Uh, we recently did a research-a-thon with them. Um, and then we also had Paramount Pictures reach out to us, which was really funny. And we partnered with them where they gave us uh, exclusive tickets to their Transformers Rise of the Beasts premiere, where the villain was a quantum computer. And we got to fact check them during the premiere, which was really cool. Um, so the sky is really the uh, limit with Quantum Computing Club. And we really thank the department um, and all of our supporters because these activities would not be able to be done without their support. And we're doing a lot of strides to increase diversity and inclusion in a field like quantum computing. Thank you.